Hi, this is Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs, and today I'm here with a video tutorial on the herringbone double crochet stitch. I have a swatch of this stitch in front of me, and actually what I've done is I've made a dishcloth using this stitch. The herringbone double crochet is one of my favorite stitches to use for dishcloths because it has a great texture. It's a little bit bumpy, it has a lot of movement, um, it's dense but not tight and rigid. It's just really a great stitch for washcloths and for dishcloths. Not only that, it's a great stitch for baby blankets and afghans too. It has great drape, which just means it has a lot of good movement. And blankets made using this stitch look really pretty thrown over the arm of a couch or a chair. I'm going to walk you through how to create the stitches. And then at the end of the video, I'll tell you exactly how to make the dishcloth like you see here. Okay, so to start making a herringbone double crochet, um, for this swatch, I am using an eye or a nine crochet hook, which is a five and a half millimeter hook, and I'm using a worsted weight cotton yarn. I will put a link to some of my favorites in the description down below. And for this stitch, a chain of any number will work. So for the dishcloth swatch, I chained 30, but for our swatch, I think I'm just gonna chain 10. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so you just have a chain of 10. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert your hook into the third chain from the hook. So you have a loop on your hook. That is not, we're not gonna count that as a chain. We're gonna go one, two, and work into this third one right here. So you're gonna yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna yarn over again and we're gonna pull our yarn through the chain and then we're going to keep pulling through that first loop on our hook. All right, so we pulled through the chain, we pulled through the first loop on our hook. So now we have our working yarn over here and we have two loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull our yarn through the first loop on our hook and we're gonna yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. So that's how we make a herringbone double crochet. So let's do that again. We're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into the next chain. We're gonna yarn over again and pull our yarn through that chain and through the first loop on our hook. There's two loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull our yarn through the first loop. And now yarn over and pull through both loops. And we'll do a few more of those to finish this row. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain Pull your yarn through the chain and keep pulling it through this first loop. Now you kind of might have to grab it so it stays still. And so you pull your yarn through that first loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. And you can see that our stitches aren't standing up straight, they're kind of leaning over to the side. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull your yarn through the stitch, and keep pulling that same yarn through the first loop on your hook. There's two loops on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and pull through the first loop, and yarn over and pull through both loops on our hook. So let's go on to the next one. We'll yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain, Pull through the first chain stitch. Keep pulling through that first loop on your hook. There are two loops left on your hook. Yarn over and pull through that first one. Yarn over and pull through the remaining two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over, pull your yarn through that first through the chain and through the first loop on your hook. There are two loops left on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first loop yarn over, pull through both loops. I have two more. I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the next chain and pull up a loop. I'm gonna keep pulling that same yarn through that first loop on my hook. Yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook and yarn over and pull through the next two loops. And now I'm at my last chain stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into that last chain pull up the loop and keep pulling that yarn through the first chain. I'm gonna yarn over and pull it through the first loop on my hook. And I'm gonna yarn over and pull through both loops on my hook. So now I'm gonna show you how to turn your work. Now most people, 
would chain two and turn their work and then they would totally skip this first stitch and work their first herringbone double crochet into the second stitch. I tend to not do that. What I do, so this is the end of my first row. I've just completed this herringbone double crochet. I'm only going to chain one and then I'm gonna turn my work. And instead of letting this chain one count as a stitch, I'm just going to use it to turn and then I'm going to make a real herringbone double crochet into the very first stitch. So I would yarn over, insert my hook into the first stitch and pull through that stitch. And then I'm gonna keep pulling that same yarn through the first loop on my hook. There's two loops on my hook. I'm gonna pull yarn over and pull through the first loop. And I'm gonna yarn over and pull through both loops. All right, so that's how I do it. Now I'm going to make another herringbone double crochet in the next stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through that stitch and through the first loop on my hook. There are two loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through that first loop. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through both loops. Let's do another one. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the stitch and pull my yarn through. Then I'm gonna keep pulling through that first loop on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through the first loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And I'm just gonna keep doing that across each row, the whole row. And then when I get to the end of a row, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to turn one more time. So let me get to the end of this row. And at first it feels a little bit unnatural, but it doesn't take long. Okay, so here's something that I should have made more clear. Um, on the very first row, you are going to work into the top of the chain two from your foundation row. So yarn over, insert your hook into the top of that chain two, pull your yarn through that chain two, pull it through the first loop on your hook. There are two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And then we will chain one and turn our work. And remember, we're not going to, we're not going to chain two and skip this first stitch. We are going to have a herringbone double crochet in that very first stitch. So we'll yarn over insert our hook into the first stitch and pull through that stitch and then keep pulling that yarn through the very first uh, loop on your hook yarn over pull through the first loop yarn over and pull through both loops so let me walk you through two more and then i think you'll be well on your way to making the herringbone double crochet so we'll yarn over insert our hook into the stitch pull through the stitch and pull through the first loop on our hook there are two loops left on our hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through the first loop on our hook, yarn over, and pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull through the stitch, and keep pulling that yarn through the very first loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first loop on your hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops. And you will just keep doing that back and forth until you have the number of rows you want. So let me finish this row. And then I will give you the details on the washcloth or dishcloth or dish rag, whatever you like to call it, that I made using this stitch. So now once I get to the end of this row, I will just herringbone double crochet into the last stitch and I don't have to worry about working into my turning chain because my chain one did not count as a stitch, all right? So, and that is what your herringbone double crochet should look like. So, let me show you. I have my swatch or my dishcloth back here again. So, I started with a chain of 30, and then let's see how many rows I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think I have 21. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
19. Maybe I'm 19. Okay, so here's the dishcloth that I made using the herringbone double crochet stitch. Um, if you want to make one just like mine, I started with a chain of 30 and then I worked 20 rows, but you can work as many rows as you need to get a square. Start with a longer chain to make a dish towel, a blanket, or whatever it is that you need. This stitch is very versatile and you can make so many things with it. If you have any questions, um, send me an email and I will do my best to answer your question. But until then, have a great day and happy crocheting.